Casey House has always had this sense of embracing you with care. So this embrace around this courtyard, this building that wraps itself very thin, almost like a blanket wraps itself and goes up and over the old house. It has this sense of embracing you wherever you are within the building. You know what's going on from inside this courtyard. You can see up, you can see across. So it becomes this sense of community. It becomes this sense of somehow feeling the, the intimacy of that experience everywhere around you, that you're not lost in this big hospital environment, that you feel like if you sat in a certain place you'd know who was there that day, that kind of thing. And then the sense that also we have this wonderful old mansion which we're restoring, and of course this crisp new building that we're adding to it, and that there's this embrace of old and new, the embrace of what Casey House was, and the promise of what Casey House is becoming, which is really one of the institutions that the city is so proud of. Infrastructure Ontario provided an increased level of project management and project oversight that allowed us to deliver the project in a more cost-effective manner. This project is the culmination of years of community engagement and donor generosity, and it builds on the vision of June Colwood and her fellow founders um, to serve the needs of these marginalized people with HIV AIDS. And I think that day of the uh, groundbreaking was extremely moving for everybody who was there as the culmination of all of that work and of that vision from that many years ago. I'm very proud of the project because uh, uh, it's an example of uh, putting a project out there which is, isn't simply a building but is very important to the people that it serves. We are bringing uh, projects uh, into Ontario that will help the healthcare needs of the community at large and add to the social fabric that is so necessary for everyone to feel healthy and wanted and warmed and loved.